like a hell cut. Hey, what's going on, Lefty family? Just wanted to invite you back to the uh, thank you for coming back to the video today. Uh, just wanted to share, you know, I got my new microphone set up here. I just wanted to share something awesome with you today. Uh, of course, I'm not the lifting dad, but I have the awesome lifting dad shirt on. Hopefully you guys can hear me with this new microphone set up. That's an awesome walkie-talkie that I just taped to the end of this broomstick here. But in all seriousness, uh, Brandon, wanted to thank you for putting the shirts together. And uh, I wanted to show my support to you. Uh, you've done a lot of things to uh, help me uh, out with a bunch of different things. So I wanted to definitely show my appreciation to you and support this shirt if it's great. It's snug to the arms, like you said. Uh, makes my chesticles pop out, and it's awesome. Uh, and I just need to grow some traps uh, to really fill this shirt out fully. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Brandon's channel will be in the top of the description. I know I've done stuff with Brandon, uh, you know, challenges and stuff like that in the past. So, um, I figured since he made fun of me and one of the last times I challenged him in something, I would make fun of him a little bit in the beginning of this video. If you're interested in this shirt, uh, whether you're a lifting dad yourself or you know a lifting dad, um, check out Brandon's channel, get a hold of him to get yourself on one of these shirts there. Uh, very well made they're very comfortable um, and they're a really good price I'm sure he'll charge a little bit more if he's got to ship them somewhere um, but they're a really good deal and he's got lots of them um, still available right now uh, talking with him a little bit yesterday he plans on coming out with a like three-quarter sleeve baseball t-shirt also which I'll probably get my hands on because I like uh, the style of baseball I like baseball t-shirts um, and they're hard to find in my size, big dude size. So obviously there's not uh, big dudes that play baseball or something. Next thing that I forgot to talk about is uh, there is a deal going on. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you already missed one day of it. So if you would like to order anything from Redcon, there is a, a special deal going on this weekend, Friday and Saturday. If you use... This discount code, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. You will save 30% off, which my discount is only 20. So, still use my link down in the description. And at the bottom of your order form, put in my name as the person being you referred to the company. And if you order, please let me know. Thank you. That way I can get you entered into my list for the giveaway once 10 of you order. So getting into today's video, kind of all over the place here. Um, I was tagged by Lori, of course, Lori tagged me in something. Uh, weight loss tag questions. Um, so I will get right into this uh, way for you to learn a little bit more about me and uh, what I've gone through in my life. So, uh, when did you start gaining uh, weight? So, big time for me when I started putting on some LBs was about a year and a half to two years out of high school. Um, so, when I was about 19 or 20, right around there. Um, it's kind of when I got my own job. I was sitting at a desk a lot, uh, going through college, uh, the stress of trying to get my degree. Um, my parents separated. Uh, I moved out on my own and you no know, was eating a lot of ramen uh, to be honest uh, eating a lot of you know fast food or uh, ordering a lot of pizza so I was doing a lot oh, that sounds really good right now some pizza but anyways I was uh you know out on my own um, not eating great at all um, and then uh, it got worse. A couple of years later, uh, you know, when you're in your early 20s, you start getting into alcohol. Uh, at least I had did. Um, and then when I got a few years down the road from that, I was not, not, 
I don't, I, I don't, I like, I, a lot of stressful stuff happened in my time where I had to developed almost a pretty bad drinking habit. So a, a lot of that based, you know, you know, when I got drinking, I wanted to eat. So uh, a lot of bad habits developed around um, my mindset at the time. Uh, so that's where I gained a lot of my weight. You know, in high school, I was 215 to 230 pounds, which was big for a high schooler. Um, you know, for especially for my height. And, uh, you know, as I wrestled at 215, I played football at 230. So um, I wasn't terribly huge in high school. I could probably throw up some pictures of what I looked like in high school. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you it was me. So, um, anyways. Number two, are you an emotional eater? Um, probably not. Um, when I get bored is when I feel like I need to eat, uh, which happens a lot in my job because I do sit at a desk for a long period of time. Um, I don't find myself to be an emotional eater. I don't, I'm, I, I like to pretend that I'm a dude and I don't have any type of emotions whatsoever. Um, really? How long have you been dieting? Uh, Right now, I'm not really following anything. I uh, I followed, you know, I follow diets throughout the year. Right now, I'm kind of not doing anything. Um, my last diet probably lasted oh four months, just to prep for my competition, and then I, um, you know, did keto twice last year, and it worked really good both times. I dropped, you know, twenty to almost forty pounds with doing keto. Um, so, uh, those probably went from the first time was about uh, four months when I lost 36 pounds. And then the second time was about two months when I lost about 20 pounds. So, that's, uh, it worked really well last year. For some reason, 2019, my mind's just not set on losing weight. Um, number three, uh, number four, are you following a diet now? No. Um, later, uh, next week I will be starting to follow a diet and I'll get into that separately. I've already touched on that a little bit in other videos. Uh, I'm waiting until, uh, we're going away next week for my daughter's, uh, birthday and, uh, doing a little special trip for her. So I'm not going to follow a diet then just because I don't want to restrict myself from, uh, you know, spending time with family at the the restaurant and stuff like that um when we did the go there uh last year i was on keto i was on my second month of keto and i was uh still staying pretty no it was my first month of keto i was still staying pretty strict there um but i'm not going to this time basically so uh number five have you had success in the past yeah i've been on uh three really good diets like i said uh keto twice last year and then right before we got married, um, I wanted to get under 300 pounds for our wedding date. And I don't remember what I started off as, maybe around 330 or something like that, maybe in the 320s. And I got down to 290, uh, which was uh, really good. That was a really good cut. And I did that by following more of a bodybuilding style diet, eating more times but less food eating you know four to five times a day eating chicken and rice and vegetables and um uh, brown rice uh you know egg whites or egg beaters for breakfast uh with turkey bacon um uh, really eating very clean and uh being very strict with that um so that's that was my first very good successful diet um, other diets that I found to be successful is like for competition prep, I follow a vertical diet. I get very strong on that and, uh, I'm looking forward to do that again this, um, late summer. Uh, do you follow a workout plan? Um, a lot of times I come up with own stuff, my own stuff in my head. I do have a program that I'm going to be following once I get back on track here. Um, I'm not going to be following this diet to lose any, you know, lose a lot of weight. I'd like to get down maybe 10 to 20 pounds before the next competition. 
and be really strong going into that. Um, do I follow a workout plan? Like I said, I like to make up a lot of stuff for competition prep based around the events for the competition. I have ideas in my head of what I want to do and it seems crazy, but I do decent. Um, but I don't, it hasn't gotten me to where I want to be. And I do have a lot of things that keep me sidetracked from being able to get where I want to be also. So, uh, that's why I bought this workout program that I did and, uh, I need to get into it. What is your favorite diet? Um, seafood diet? I see food and I eat it. Um, no. Uh, so keto is, can be a very good diet, um, but it may not be for everybody. Um, like I said, this time it just didn't seem to work for me. Uh, my favorite diet, even though it is very plain Jane, and it's the same thing every single day, I do like vertical. I can stick to it. And it, uh, there's just something about it that I have no issues with following that compared to following other diets. How much do you want to lose? Uh, like I said, uh, right now before this competition, I want to get down 10 to 20 pounds. Uh, I don't know what the events are going to be. It's a long ways out yet. Um, I just need to get faster for moving style events. Although it's indoors, there's not really probably going to be many moving style events. But if there is like the power stairs like there was last year, I got winded very quickly on that. And that's not where I, want, I need to be in order to be good. Uh, number nine, do you feel like you are addicted to food? Um, I don't feel like I'm addicted to food. I feel like I do have a sweet tooth and I get the um, urges to have certain things and just have it. Uh, am I addicted to anything? No. Um, I would say no. Um, have I been in the past addicted to food? No. Uh, I was addicted to, almost addicted to alcohol and alcohol led me to want to drink. Um, I would want to, I would get, start to get buzzed or slightly drunk and realize, hey, you need to eat. And then I would just eat everything that I had. Um, or if I was out, you know, I would, you know, sometimes the bars don't have the greatest food and I would eat it and think it was the best food in the world. But if I wanted to have it sober, it'd be crap, right? Uh... Are you comfortable with your body now? Not exactly. Um, I mean, I'm not showing my body off. Uh, you know, I'm married. Uh, I don't need to attract anybody. Uh, you know, she's happy with what I am. Uh, my kids are happy with what I am, you know. So, um, would I like to lose some weight? Yeah. Uh, to make myself look a little bit better? Sure. Um, I'm not doing this to, uh, you know, appease anybody else other than myself, uh, really. Um, like I said, losing some of the belly, like I said the other day when I was doing the log, uh, would definitely help me out a little bit. Um, just because that was in the way of being able to roll that log on me. Of course, it's a little bit smaller than an actual competition log. So it would be uh, a little bit easier with a bigger, bigger log, I think. Uh, last question. Do you deprive yourself of food? Um, when I'm on a diet, I will like, you know, it's tough because, you know, I do have young kids that enjoy to eat, you know, whatever they want. And my wife doesn't follow any kind of diets, even if I am. So it's hard if I am following something strict and they bring something home that is, <clears throat> you know, pizza or Subway or if they have a box of sweets or something like that and it's sitting out and I'm like, oh. Really, so I do try and stay away from those when I am following something strictly. Um, and I usually do pretty good of it. Um, I remember the last year when I was following keto, either the first or second time, my daughter would be eating something, eating something and I'd take it from her and smell it and then give it back to her and be like, yep, that's all I needed. I just needed to smell it. You know, I, I, you can eat all the sweets and stuff you want and you know it tastes it makes your palate taste good for a little bit but what does it do it makes you feel like crap because now you realize afterwards you know i just ate all this stuff that my body doesn't really need and you know it's gonna hurt me in the end 
and just to make my tongue feel good for a little bit, you know what I mean? So uh, I need to get that in here and realize uh, that's not doing me any good. So hopefully you guys take something from this and now I need to tag some people. Um, so I guess since I'm already wearing it, we'll tag you, Brandon. Uh, I know I like to tag you and stuff every once in a while. So, uh, hopefully you can do this, Mr. Lifting Dad. And, uh, I know Christian, you just talked a lot about your diet. So, uh, I'm not going to tag you. I, uh, you had a very good long video about talking about your diet and I know you planned on doing more in the future. So I'm not going to tag you. So who else should I tag? Um, let's go with Vicky, Vicky Marie. I know you had a pretty good transformation there yourself. We've seen some of your, your video of your trans, uh, what it looked like before you did, uh, your sugar cut. So let's, uh, tag you Vicky and see how, uh, you've come along. So, all right, that's going to be it for me. As always, lift big, eat big, and get big, and we'll catch you back here tomorrow. Because even though it's not Veda, I'm still posting every day for some reason. So, uh, tomorrow will be my daughter's birthday party video. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I need to go to bed, because I am tired. Good night. Bye.